Hello and welcome back to the Wellness Check. Today I wanted to get back into brain spotting. I've done a lot of videos recently on all things EMDR and I thought it was time to circle back to the magic of brain spotting. Particularly, we're going to talk about one of my most favorite things to do in brain spotting and it's called rolling brain spotting. So before I get into what rolling brain spotting is, I thought I would do a quick little recap on some other types of brain spotting that we've done so that you can understand what rolling brain spotting really is. So if you remember from our previous videos, there's something called inside window and outside window. I'm going to go through those just real quick and then we'll get into it. So inside window brain spotting is really cool. This is very client-led brain spotting. If you remember, I have my pointer here, if you remember my trusty pointer. If you remember how we go about picking a target for brain spotting, what we're doing is we're saying, what is it that you wanna focus on? Um, usually the example that I've used in most of my videos is the example of a motor vehicle accident someone has a motor vehicle accident and now they're feeling fearful behind the road, there's anxiety when driving, maybe they avoid certain roads or places where the accident, close to where the accident happened, etc. So I'll just use that for today's example as well. Inside window would be, all right, we're gonna pick this spot together and I want you, the client, to be able to tie into the activation that you feel when I put the pointer here, right? So this one's very client-led. Let's just say, for example, we're gonna say, look over here, look at this point. When you think about motor vehicle accident, when you think about how challenging it is to drive today, do you feel more activation, less activation, the same? Meaning, do you feel more ang like anxious, less anxious, the same? And the client is really tying into the mind and body at this point and saying, I actually don't really feel that much over there. It's, I don't feel much, much, much happening over there. Okay, so we're going to work to find it. Okay, come into the middle. What do you notice here? And the client's saying, well, actually, it feels a little bit more activating over here. Okay, for comparison's sake, let's go over to the right side. What do you notice over here? Oh, now I really feel anxious. I am feeling my stomach drop. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling like I don't want to drive home. I'm feeling et cetera, et cetera. So we're really using the client's feedback um, to determine where the spot is. We can also do this another way, and that's called outside window. Outside window is a little bit more clinician driven. It's using the clinician's observations of what's happening with the client when at a certain spot to kind of determine what the activation is. So again, if we were over here, I said, think about that motor vehicle accident. What feels the most activating today? All right, sit with that, notice it, become curious about it. What I would be looking at is very slight observation. So is the client swallowing? Are they shifting in their seat? Uh, are they starting to clench their hands? Are they getting fidgety? Uh, is their respiration becoming faster? Are, there, are they getting flushed in the cheeks and the chest? These are all indications that this spot right here is pretty activating. So basically outside window is a way for the clinician to see if one spot is more activating than the other. Okay, so all of that review is going to come in handy for what is next, and that is talking about rolling brain spotting. One of my most favorite things to do. Um, and how this is different than the other brain spotting that we have talked about before is um, we've talked about finding that one spot, holding it, holding it, holding it, processing, processing, processing. This is very different. So what we're gonna do, and we can do this virtually with our clients, we can do this in person, obviously. We're going to scan the person's entire visual field. Now virtually, right, here's my, here's my pointer. I'm gonna put it right to the tip here, the edge of the screen. That's probably not your actual peripheral, right? Neither is this. Sure, it's to one side versus the other, but is this the extent of your peripheral vision 
Probably not. Probably not. So if the person is really well grounded, if they feel safe enough, I do offer them to allow their gaze to go beyond the screen into their own their own four walls, right? Whatever their corners are, they can start there. <clears throat> but for today's purposes, this is just an example of what this what this feels like and what this looks like. I'm going to show you what rolling brain spotting does and why it is so powerful. So what we're going to do, we framed and focused what we're going to focus on, the motor vehicle accident, um, we're really kind of sitting with that activation. We know where it's popping up in the body and we're going to bring this pointer very slowly all the way across. I'm talking slow. Look how slow that is. Now hopefully by the end of the session we will have gone from one side back through the other side and that's a very important thing to remember you want to be able to swipe left swipe right um, and get both sides done so here we are right we are right there at the edge outside window here's where this comes full circle would say I as a clinician am observing the client activating let's just pretend this point right here we're going across and I see a lot of blinking, maybe a couple gulps, maybe a shift in the seat, maybe stretching out a little bit. Client isn't saying anything. I know as a clinician, this is probably an activation spot. So I'm just going to hold it. I'm just going to hold it there. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to hold it here for a few seconds, a few minutes. There's really no right or wrong per se you want some processing to happen and then you just keep moving it very slowly and then outside window would say oh I see my client activating right there I'm gonna hold it now the client can talk here the client can say what's coming up absolutely if they wish to share go for it if you don't it's also okay you don't have to say anything. See how slow we're going? So that's the example, right? We want to go all the way back and all the way across. An inside window of going about this would be the client really chiming in a little bit more. So there's some education that goes into this prior to rolling brain spotting and it says if you, client, feel something, notice something, you can raise a finger and I will stop the pointer. I'll stop the movement. You can say stop. You can say slow down. You can say hold there. Whatever kind of cue feels comfortable to you to let me know that you want to hang out there for a minute. There's some material right there. Great. Inside window. And then you can also direct when it's time to move, when it's time to go. And again, we go all the way across, all the way. And this is fast, the sped up version. Okay, hold right there, stop right there. Or back up a little bit. Or go up a little bit. Or can you come down a little bit? That's very client led and they know, depending on where they're looking, the exact spot. You just feel it, you feel it in your body and the processing really tends to happen quickly. So at the end of the session, we've done one way, we've come back. We wanna leave enough time after the session to debrief. So I always ask, is it okay that I put the pointer down? Yes, it's okay we put the pointer down. Okay, great. So we stretch it out a little bit, right? We move around, we get some breath back in our lungs, and now's the time to really kind of debrief and, and to your comfort level, explaining what came up, what did you notice? What did you notice over here versus over here? And most of the time clients were able to say, man, over here was a lot of anger, anger towards that driver who hit me. Over here was a lot of fear, really just scared to get back in the car, scared of getting in another accident. So it's, it's a good time to just connect the dots even more 
and begin to consolidate and process the information that has come through that session, the rolling brain spotting. Um, it's, in my opinion, one of the most powerful of brain spotting methods, and there are lots of brain spotting methods that are all wonderful and beautiful in their own way, but rolling brain spotting gets a lot done in a short amount of time. You can process years of material in one session, in two sessions, in a week, in a month that maybe would have taken years and years of talk therapy. And as an added benefit, you as a client really get to decide what you're comfortable talking about and what you're not comfortable talking about because it's not really truly about that. It's not about sitting across a therapist in a little tiny room and talking about your feelings and going over every traumatic detail. That's not what this is. And in fact, I've had many sessions where clients don't say anything, anything. No words come out when we're doing the processing. Um, They've stayed well within the window of tolerance. I'm watching out for that. Are they regulated emotionally? I'm watching out for that. And if they are, there's really no talking that has to be done. Um, We can debrief at the end of the session or come back next week. Tell me what's different. Tell me what's better. Where did you drive? How did you feel when you got in the car? How's your confidence? And these are all things that really begin to shift and change um, in brain spotting in general. But with this rolling brain spotting, it's just, it's, it's so amazing. So if you're an individual who is looking to get brain spotting therapy done, find your certified therapist and talk about it. Uh, I'm sure he or she will get you through um, all sorts of different types of brain spotting techniques, but be sure to mention rolling brain spotting. If you are a clinician and you are maybe wanting to learn how to brain spot, please get into it. We need more of you guys in the world. Um, it's just such a such a blessing, such a cool way to go about healing the hardest things that humans can go through. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share. Thank you for checking in with your wellness, and I'll see you soon.